Hi, this is Svenja and this is the last part of my ear training series. Today's topic is the sevenths. This is a really important interval in jazz since the most frequent chords in the style, tetrads, all contain a sevenths. You've got minor sevenths and dominant sevenths chords with a flat sevenths and major sevenths chords with a major sevenths. The flat sevenths is 10 semitones away from the root note and we build this interval from the root note A in the fifth fret of the lower E string. So we've got the flat sevenths G in the 15th fret. Like with six, it's easier when you play this interval of string skipping. So we find the tone G on the D string also in the fifth fret. This pattern stays the same for the E and D and A and G string. When you want to build a flat sevenths from the tone G in the fifth fret of the D string, you play the B string in the sixth fret. And this pattern stays the same for the G in the higher E string. I now play you flat sevenths over all strings so that you can get the sound in your ears. The major sevenths is 11 semitones away from the root note, so we land on the tone G sharp in the 16th fret. For the string skipping version, you move your finger on the higher of the two strings one fret up, so you play the D string in the 6th instead of the 5th fret. This pattern stays the same up to the D string, and when you want to build a major sevenths from there, you play the D string in the fifth and the B string in the seventh fret. And this pattern stays the same for the G and the higher E string. Of course there are also octaves, but I didn't want to make another video on this topic. I also assume that you already know this interval, since it's quite common, especially in rock music. Furthermore, you're probably able to find octaves on the fretboard yourselves after what you've learned in the series. Feel free to watch my videos about the other intervals too. I'm planning more content about ear training in the future, so stay tuned. You can do so by subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon, and I'd also much appreciate it if you leave me a thumbs up. I'd also really grateful if you support me on Patreon. Now I'd like to thank you for watching and until next time, keep moving.